Have you ever wondered why most businesses fail before they even get started or why you're stuck and for whatever reason you just can't find a way to launch your business? Well, you're in luck. In this video right here, I'm going to go over the top three reasons why most businesses fail before they even start. And I'm going to give you some simple solutions to get your business off the ground and get you profitable right away. Guys, my name is Joe Green. I'm a serial entrepreneur. I'm a business coach. I help entrepreneurs get to their level 10 potential and make things happen. Let's go. All right, guys. All right. Let's jump right into this. So what we're going to go over is the top three reasons why most businesses fail. And I see this every single time. I really want to break this down for you all. I remember as a brand new entrepreneur myself, the one thing that I really struggled with was just getting started. <laughs> I remember I came up with every excuse under the sun as to why it wasn't the right time, wasn't the right season, well, didn't have enough money, didn't know where to start. Look, just stop. Just stop. You know, I want to give you guys some, um, I want to go over the problems first and then I want to give you guys some simple solutions that you can apply to your life right now and you can be a productive, profitable entrepreneur. All right. So the first thing that most people get wrong, and this applies to business, weight loss, relationships, is this um, little phrase right here. I have to think about it okay right here think about it right there that is like the ultimate death sentence for entrepreneurs why it's because you're either doubting yourself you're doubting the goal that you have you don't think it's going to work for you you don't think you're good enough you don't think it's good enough whatever the case may be you're going to find yourself every single time you get ready to start something new, you're going to have to think about it. And then you're going to come up with the reasons. When you're thinking about it, you're going to come up with a thousand different reasons of why you shouldn't. No one ever thinks about it and actually says, okay, yeah, this is... I, I'm glad I took a few minutes to think about it. Your mind was already made up. You are, you've already done your research. You've already done your due diligence of all the things you need to do to understand if entrepreneurship or launching a business is for you. Now, if you got to the point to where now you're on the phone with a gatekeeper and this person is the person who's either going to let you in or not. And then you get there and the moment that they say, all right, this is how you can enroll. This is how you can invest. This is how you can do whatever to start that business of your dreams. And then you pump the brakes. You're like, whoa, 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 whoa. I'm still thinking about it. My question to you is, what's left to think about? I understand that we get scared because we're taking a risk, but that's entrepreneurship. And if you're the type of person who's afraid to take risks, now is not the time for you to start a business because even though you launched the business, that is not the last risk you're going to take. You're going to buy that equipment that might be a little risky. You're going to hire that employee that might be risky. You know, you, you might have to invest in whatever, you know, like that's going to complement your business. Maybe make a commercial, do some marketing. I don't know. But then you're always going to think about it. And then you're going to try to find the cheapest, easiest way to weasel yourself out of doing something that's going to benefit your business. And your business is always going to just be subpar. You're going to make just enough, just above broke. And then you're going to get to the point to where you're going to be burnt out because you're always having to think about it. And I say this from a stance of being a business coach. I was also a fitness coach for many, many years. And the clients that always struggled the most or the ones that just never got started were the ones that always used this line. I used to have a big sign in my office. and used to say like, you know, I'll think about it. Got me great success, said nobody ever. I mean, and that's the truth. You know, was that being a jerk? Yeah, of course. But I wanted people to see that on my board and let them know, like, don't come into my house. Don't come into my territory and tell me you need to think about it because it just never works. Here's the second thing and probably one of the most important thing. Need permission. Listen, if you're constantly asking for validation, and you haven't already worked this out to where you no longer have to ask people for permission, then you're doing it wrong. Again, you do your research, you find out what does it take to start an industry like this. And what if you're gonna buy equipment, if you're gonna hire a business coach or mentor, or if you're going to purchase a building, you do your due diligence, you find out all these costs first, and then you make sure you relay that to whoever you're getting validation from and then that you do all that before you get ready to pull the trigger. But let me tell you something, if you get in the habit of having to ask for permission, 
versus explaining why this is something that I want to do. This is what, how it's going to succeed. I've done my due diligence. I've done my research. I'm not asking for your permission. I'm asking for your support. There's a difference between asking for permission and support. My wife, she knows I'm a serial entrepreneur and she also knows that when I got my mind, you know, set on something, I've already done my research, probably like hours and hours, weeks and weeks, months and months of research. So she knows I've done my due diligence. By the time I approach my wife, it's not me asking her, honey, may I? It's, babe, this is what I'm going to do and this is when I'm going to start it. I would love for you to support me when I go through this journey of mine. That's it. That's a success story in the making saying, hey, babe, um, so I'm thinking about opening this thing and I think it's going to cost like 50 grand. Um, can I do it? You know, like, what are you doing there? Why are you? What, you so that tells me you didn't think the plan out and you quite possibly didn't create a business plan. So you don't know what the costs associated are. You don't know how you're going to execute and become successful. You might need to do your homework and do your due diligence before you even come to your spouse with a proposal of starting a business. If you think you're going to start a business with nothing, then my friend, you are in the wrong industry. That is not entrepreneur mind, uh, you know, mindset. That right there is someone who is a W-2 employee, never really got formal education or any kind of training or coaching on how to launch a business. So you're going in blindly and you're making the most crucial mistakes. You're going into war without a battle plan. You need to have a plan before you even think about starting a business. And if you won't take the time to create a plan, then like, why would anyone like give you permission to do anything? I understand why spouses tell people like, uh, no, you're not doing this. No, you're not investing our money on this. You're not even prepared. What, what, why are you asking me for permission to do something you are not prepared to do? And then lastly, this one right here is one of the big, the big business killers right here. I'll figure it out. That right there, um, it's so bad, it's almost laughable. See, people think they see a wheel and they see how it works. You have a basic understanding, but you don't know what it really takes. You don't know all the intricate details, what it takes for that wheel to be created and reinforced and done appropriately for it to work the way it does. So here you are trying to reinvent the wheel. You're trying to reverse engineer off of what you're seeing on the outside, but you don't want to put yourself on the inside by doing what it takes to make sure that business is successful. That is going to be one of the biggest business fails you're going to make by trying to figure it out on your own. Um, I've had plenty of business coaches in every industry. You, I don't use the same business coach for every industry. I go to the expert. I go to the people who've done it and been successful. Why? Because it makes the most sense. They can speak by experience. They can ask the right questions that I may not have thought of in that particular industry You know, to make sure I'm successful. I'm not going to go to a fitness business coach and ask him for real estate advice. No, I'm going to go find a real estate coach and I'm going to ask him, can you coach me and mentor me and ensure I'm successful? Because Based off your track record, I see the success on the wall. I know you know what you're doing. And if I can replicate what you're doing, then all will be well. And I don't have to get anyone's permission. And I don't need to think about it because I've already had the design laid out. I've got the plan created. That's all I needed to get done. So again, these are the top three things right here where people fail when they want to start something new. And it's the same thing when we get into relationships. You need to think about it. Okay, cool. You keep thinking about it. You need permission to be with someone? How's that going to work out for you? And then you'll figure it out really now. Same thing with our finances, same thing with our weight loss or weight gain, you know, like in the same thing when it comes to launching a business and entrepreneurship. Guys, it's, it's a life principle. You know, like shorty comes from being uh, in a position where you planned it out. You planned it out. You mapped it out. You did your due diligence. You did your research before you start asking people for validation. I never need validation for anything that I do. Why? Because I do my due diligence first and you need to do the same thing. So guys, I hope this video brought you some clarity in the link below right there. I want you to join my free community where I actually do videos like this all the time for people like yourself, just trying to help people get that extra edge and be profitable and successful in their entrepreneurship journey. Good luck.